Joy. Welcome and thank you very much for your time, guys. Um, when you mentioned, Robert, the um, Christmas music, my little antennas went off, um, and that's my passion is Christmas music. So I would love it if you can, you know, get a little deeper on that and let us know kind of what songs might be on that album. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just maybe one. Let me just say this. There aren't that many Christmas songs. <laughs> there really aren't. I mean, good Christmas songs. I mean, there are obvious, uh, the obvious Chris, Christmas carols. There are a few sort of, sort of what I would call anthems or arias. Uh, and then there's a you know the frosty the snowman type thing, but if you, I mean there, there's a reason why we did two Christmas albums and one of them repeated some of the songs from the first Christmas album because there really aren't that, that many good Christmas songs. There's a lot of really, I mean everybody thinks they can write a Christmas song, but mostly they suck. I guess I wanted to know would you be creating a Christmas song because those are like my favorite. What kind of Christmas song? Where you create the own song. Where you, where you, uh, where you write it. Where well, you as I said, it's not that easy. I mean, it's, 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 oh, one, it's one thing to write Saturday in the Park, but it's another thing to write a Christmas song that's going to endure for decades or hundreds of years. I know Lee, is, Lee wrote one uh, for the first Christmas album, and it was really good. Uh, he's going to try to do it again. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm dubious. Uh, but I hope. Thank you. And this is Catherine who sang with you guys last night. Um, this is a question for Robert. Um, I was, first of all, I, it, I had a really great time last night and I want to thank Ben for le letting me do it. But I think the reason I did it primarily was that um, when I heard you were partnering with the American Cancer Society, um, it was a very easy decision to uh, make my donation to such a worthy cause. And I know you've done partnering with World Hunger in the past and probably other charitable don donations. And my question is, how do you decide what organization to put your energies and efforts towards? And whichever one you do, I just want to say thank you. I think giving back and being a band with a conscience this way is so outstanding and it just makes me love you all as a band even more. So I just wanted to thank you for that. Well, um, we were actually talking about this the other night on the bus. And, uh, actually I actually had dinner with Walt and his wife the other night and we were talking about, you know, there's some some entity, I don't know whether it's the Hall of Fame or something else, asked us for a list of our good works. And, you know, we hadn't even thought in those terms. But yeah, I mean, I'm very proud that the band has, has all along done, you know, done some nice things for people. And, but we've never really we wanted most of the time for it to be under the radar. Uh, where we've partnered up this year, was really because, uh, well, it's a very worthy, uh, it's a very worthy cause, um, and and we were, and we decided that the weight of our influence, whatever that might be, uh, would be helpful. So that's why, you know, that's why this is very public. And the, the, the hunger thing last last year was. It was very hopeful that it's been in Chicago who are stepping out and really trying to promote it. Uh, but over the years when we decided to do something, uh, it's because either it was a very a strong personal, uh, it was of strong and personal importance to some member of the band, or we just decided, we just sort of talked about things and decided that that this is the right thing to do in, in, in this time, in this moment. Uh, you know, we're inundated with, with causes. And you know, I'm sure they're all important to, to some of them. 
but I think they have to be important to us to decide to do, to do that. Thank you. Hi, I have a question for Robert. But first, Lou, I'd like to say to you that my family has been Chicago fans for decades, and um, I have raised my children to be big fans, and you'll notice that later, for sure. Um, I've been accused of brainwashing, but we won't go there. Uh, but I want to say to you that we came all the way to Florida to see the guys. It's been a long time since we got to see them, and you rocked our socks last night. We are so glad you're a fan. It was a real pleasure to watch them. Thank you so much. Robert, my question to you is, you've been writing forever, and what's in your head first? The music, the voice you want to put on it from your wide pool of talent and band? What, what starts it? Um, usually, it's just sitting at the piano and playing. And, uh, you know, occasionally, well, always is a phrase, a musical phrase, a melodic phrase, running through my brain. That's, I think that's true of, of most musicians and most composers. There's some little piece of something that is either, uh, you know, four or five notes from the middle of some song I heard 20 years ago, and it takes a while to identify what it is or to see to see, is this something, is this actually a new idea? Is this actually original? Or am I stealing something from something I heard 10 years ago? Uh, but it always starts with sitting at the piano and playing and, and just sort of hearing a melody. It's, you know, it's really a, you know, it's a totally God-given thing uh, that we're, we're privileged to, to live with and, and develop. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is for Robert, mainly. Uh, I want to thank you for being an incredible inspiration in my life. When I heard that first Chicago album, I thought, i got to get a band to play this. Which can't go, I can't get this record to the guys and figure it out, so somebody has to write it down. So I spent months listening to the record, transcribing, and, and I thought, i got to go to college and look at the nerd to see what I'm doing. But uh, my question is, in writing, especially earlier material, did you write the horn lines, or did you kind of give the rhythm track to say to James, and he would complete the horn part, or what was your writing process like? I mostly wrote, uh, I mostly sketched the horn parts in, in all of my songs. Wow. And you were talking about the new album, and without sounding disrespectful, were you beginning back to kind of the adventurous stuff you were doing in the early days? You guys had some tremendous stuff, had a lot of imagination, and well, and, but that, that, but that wasn't disrespectful. No, it's not disrespectful, but I don't think we ever want to go back to the early days because uh, these days are so good. I mean, uh, everybody's a better player. Uh, you know, the songs the songs we write now are about what we're thinking and what we're feeling and what we're absorbing now. So, uh, you know, stylistically, Chicago is Chicago. There's nothing like Chicago. Um, and The fact that we're Chicago is what makes it sound like, like it does. Um, I mean, I know what you mean. The early albums, but the early albums have a, have a, a certain energy, but that was more about the era and what the band Chicago did with that energy. Um, you know, we're all, dare I say, a little more sophisticated now. So I, you know, I, I think that there'll be a certain polish and certain sophistication now, along with whatever energy we have left. <laughs> Thank you.